This is the Aromatic Wisdom Podcast, Episode 6. Today I'm going to share some really nice, super fast gifts that you can make at the last minute with essential oils and other natural ingredients. You're listening to the Aromatic Wisdom Podcast with your host, Liz Fulcher. If you're interested in learning about essential oils, hearing interviews with industry experts, and discovering ways to grow your own aromatherapy business, this is the podcast for you. For more information and show notes, visit the website at aromaticwisdominstitute.com. Now sit back, relax, take a deep breath, and enjoy as Liz shares a dose of aromatic wisdom. Hello, friends. It's Liz Fulcher here. I'm your host on this podcast. Thank you so much for joining me. And I have a confession to make. I am a procrastinator. Not only am I a procrastinator, but I work really well under pressure. With all that adrenaline running through my system, I become one big ball of focus and action and results. Does this phenomenon sound familiar to any of you? I'm guessing it resonates with a lot of you because a lot of people in the aromatherapy industry are very creative. One of the hallmarks of a truly creative person is that they do wait until the last minute or they wait until the 11th hour and then they are incredibly energized and motivated and excited and end up doing a really good job. So if you see yourself as a procrastinator, Maybe you want to think of yourself as an incubator. You're just waiting until the right time and then you're going to do a bang up job. So here it is a week before Christmas. And I'm sure there are those of you out there that have either procrastinated in buying or making holiday gifts, or maybe you really and truly just didn't have enough time. It's also possible that you just don't like to shop. And this is another category that I fit into. Uh, I personally do not like shopping and I really find retail to be a nightmare. I do not care to go to the mall. I uh, will go and buy the thing I need and leave. I'm not one to leisurely window shop. This is part of the reason why I like to make my own gifts. I can make it personal. I can make it unique. I can save money and I can do it at the last minute. That's not true for every aromatherapy product that you make. Sometimes you will need to purchase your materials in advance and you might have to, you know, do that online and wait for it to come for a week or two. The last minute aromatherapy products that I'm going to talk about today are all things that you can, you either already have it in your house or you can find it quickly at a local store. Now, because all of these recipes include essential oils, I'm going to assume that you either have essential oils, you have a local place where you can buy them, or you have an online source where you can get them very quickly. Okay, so let's get started with the products that I'm suggesting you make quickly and easily and still be a gift that you'll be proud to give and that someone will really love and appreciate when they receive it. The first gift I'm going to recommend you make is one of the easiest and therapeutically effective and always appreciated, and those are bath salts. To make bath salts, you only need Epsom salts, a little coarse sea salt, and essential oils. Now that is bath salts that you would sprinkle into the tub. If the person you're giving the gift to doesn't like to take baths, they prefer showers, then you can make a salt scrub, which would be the same basic recipe, only you would add vegetable oil or carrier oil. There are, if you go into Pinterest, there are a lot of resources for how to make do-it-yourself projects, really cute, uh, how to make really cute packaging. And I actually might have a link to something. I'll put that in, in the show notes as well. But if you go to Pinterest and just search for cute DIY packaging, you'll get a lot of ideas. But honestly, you can use for this, for the packaging, for the recipe I'm about to give you, you could use any sort of a nice four ounce jar. You can, I love thrift stores and Goodwills and secondhand shops, and you can find some really interesting containers there for oils, for, you know, like for body oils and salt scrubs and so forth. All right, here are the ingredients um, for this first recipe, which is simply called lavender bath salts. Bath salts themselves are wonderful for sore muscles, for tired muscles. They can help reduce swelling. And of course, lavender essential oil is classic. It relaxes the mind. It's very calming for the nervous system and healing for the skin. 
So in this recipe, you're going to have, I'm going with four ounces. So I would say two ounces of Epsom salt and two ounces of coarse sea salt. If you have access to the pink Himalayan salt, that would be great as well, but that's optional. Uh, again, I'm trying to keep these recipes real quick and simple that you use what you have. You can also add a tablespoon of some kind of vegetable oil like uh, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, jojoba oil, any sort of a carrier. Again, if you don't have that, you can even use olive oil. Uh, olive oil does have a bit of a, you know, olive aroma. So you might have to go a little bit heavier with the lavender essential oil to cover up that smell. At about 10 to 15 drops of lavender essential oil. And that makes a really lovely bath salt gift. They could, um, you know, you could get a little spoon with it and have them scoop it into the tub. Or if you wanted to go a little bit heavier with the um, carrier oil, they could rub it into their skin like exfoliating. Very, very nice gift for all ages. If someone hates uh, lavender, but but you like the idea of the bath salts, then you could replace it with orange and grapefruit. Those are great. Those are really nice. Um, the citruses are always welcome, especially in the winter time. You could put in, um, I don't know, let's just say like if we're going with, with 10 drops of oil, five drops of frankincense and five drops of lavender or five drops of myrrh and five drops of neroli if you want to go with expensive oils. If you want to keep it very affordable, 10 drops of orange and 10 drops of grapefruit would be really nice. You know, kind of um, look at the person who will be receiving the gift. Would they want something floral? Would they want something uplifting? Would they want something for the morning, for the evening? All right, that's bath salts. Again, I will be putting these recipes in the show notes so you have reference to them later. The next fun and and really quick gift that you can put together for someone is a simple body oil. And body oils can be used in a lot of different ways this time of year being winter in the northern hemisphere anyway. People are pretty dry and they uh, will love to have something to put on their skin after they get out of the shower. So again, in terms of packaging, you can find some really pretty bottles at secondhand shops. You can also um, go to like a dollar store and get some really pretty bottles with corks and you can get some raffia and inside the bottle, you could include grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, and essential oils. And that's all you'd need is essential oil and a carrier oil and put them in a real pretty packaging. You can make a real cute little label. Remember to be mindful of your dilutions. Five to six drops of essential oil to one ounce of carrier is 1%. I would go with a 2% dilution. In terms of which oils would you use, that depends again on the person receiving the gift. The floral oils are always nice. Uh, chamomile, lavender, neroli, jasmine. The citruses are awesome. Uh, orange, lemon, grapefruit, mandarin, beautiful in a body oil. If you want to go a little earthier, cedarwood is nice. One of my very personal favorite body oil blends is a combination of Lang Lang, cedarwood, and sweet orange. And I actually have a specific recipe for that, which I will put in the show notes. For years, I used that combination in massage oil for my massage clients, and it was always very popular. Body oils can be used for hydration, for moisturizing the skin, and again, also just for a nice relaxing massage. Okay, and the last gift recommendation I'm going to make is one of my favorites, sugar scrubs. Sugar scrubs are very popular. They are very easy to make and people love receiving them. If you're going to make a sugar scrub, you can use either white cane sugar or brown sugar. In either case, I would use organic and I would use the smaller grain sugar particles. Sugar makes a really superb topical exfoliant, which again is why it's so popular in body scrubs today. It helps to exfoliate the dead surface skin cells and afterwards your skin is really, really soft. Sugar is also a natural humectant. Basically, it draws moisture from the environment into the skin. So when you apply products that have sugar uh, in them, it actually helps to hydrate your skin and help keep your moisture in. Again, in terms of the container for your 
sugar scrubs. You can get very creative and find some really lovely round jars with pretty lids and um, put ribbons around them and make just a lovely homemade gift with a product inside that will be nourishing and beneficial to the skin of the person you're giving them to. So I've got a couple of sugar scrub recipes. There's one actually from my website when I did a, I did a blog post on salt and sugar scrubs a while back. And the recipe that I have on there, and I'll put the link to that in the show notes, is called Rejuvenate and Glow Facial Scrub. And here's the recipe. Four ounces of organic brown sugar, one ounce of jojoba oil. If you do not have jojoba oil, you can replace it with any other vegetable oil. Three ounces of virgin coconut oil. Or again, you could do four complete four ounces of coconut oil if it's easier for you to obtain. Ten drops of carrot seed essential oil and ten drops of frankincense. Five drops of rosewood, which is actually hard to find. Rosewood is becoming harder to source. So I would recommend perhaps instead ten drops of carrot seed, ten drops of frankincense, five drops of lavender would be a nice one for the skin. So here's another recipe, and this one has got honey in it, which is very cool. I would use, again, the same four ounces of brown sugar and three ounces of virgin coconut oil, two tablespoons of raw honey, 15 drops of lemon essential oil, and 15 drops of mandarin or sweet orange essential oil. Mm, good luck not nibbling that one from the jar. <laughs> so there you have three gift ideas. You can do those all in a day, in a weekend, and you can make several varieties. Those are just three sort of foundational products that you could make a ton of variations on them. You could make them floral. You could make them earthy. You could make them uh, uplifting. You could make them relaxing. That is where your creativity comes in. And, you know, you could just spend a morning, go to the thrift store, buy five or six jars and five or six bottles, then go home and put on some pretty Christmas music or just any kind of soft music, light some candles, put out your jars and your bottles and your carriers, your essential oils, your salts and sugars, and have a ball. It'll be really a win-win situation. You'll enjoy the process. You'll have gifts. You can cross those people off your list so you don't have to panic about not having gifts. And honestly, you'll feel so proud of what you make and the gifts will be really well received because people tremendously appreciate the kind of work and love and energy that goes into homemade products like that. So enjoy it. Let me know what you make. Um, write to me, liz at aromaticwisdom.com, and let me know what you make. I'm very interested to hear. Okay, and now we've reached that portion of the podcast called Smell My Life. In the Smell My Life segment, I always like to share an authentic aromatic moment from my life in the past week. So I have a son who is studying journalism in London and came home for Christmas uh, a couple of days ago. And I was with him actually just yesterday and noticed that he was really congested, not sick, but just really heavily congested from, might have been allergies, it could have been from the travel, blowing his nose. And I got out a diffuser and put it right by him. And I put in there lemon and ravent Sarah and tea tree. And within probably an hour, he's blowing his nose less and less. He said, I really feel a lot better, mom. I'm so glad you put out the diffuser something very simple and yet so effective. We just have these tools there to use whenever we want. Sometimes we just forget. Now, I don't, but I know plenty of people who will say to me, oh, you know, I forgot I could have used a diffuser. Oh, geez. Yeah, I had that cut. I could have used tea tree. Their tools are always there for us to use. We just have to remember to get them out and use them. And that wraps it up for this week's podcast episode number six. And I hope that it has been helpful and that you feel inspired and energized and that your creativity is now has been lit and you will procrastinate no more. You'll go forth and make fun and wonderful gifts and have an absolutely spectacular holiday. I will return in two weeks 
which would be on January 1st, with an episode dedicated specifically to goal setting for your aromatherapy business in 2015. Until then, be well and be happy. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.